Hey everyone, I want you to take a look at this other piece of vintage technology. It was delivered to me yesterday and I'm going to make a video on it because some of you guys probably had something to do with this back in the day. Uh, by my estimate, it looks like it's probably 40, maybe 50 years old. Let's go ahead and take a look. Maybe you guys can help me out with what this thing is and when it was made. So guys, what we have here is something called a Tech Trainer 2. And it's obviously a DC power supply, but it's also a frequency generator or signal generator. And let's go ahead and walk through it. So I've got plus five volts ground. These are stationary voltage points. This one here looks like it's attached to this potentiometer right here. So you adjust your voltage for that pin. This one here is going to be your stationary 12. And this isn't a regulated DC power supply. But what it is, is a set amplitude. So I assume like you could really get some cool arky spark off this guy if you really wanted to. Here we have, uh, let's see, we got ground. This is where you're gonna test your oscilloscope. And these here are signal ports, I think. You guys might be able to help me out with this. F-2, F-4, F-8, F-16, are those deviations? I don't know so this is if this one millivolt that's like half a millivolt and so on I don't know if that's how that works don't know but what I do know is we have a main power and I have three position switches up here so it's either one off or zero I'm not really sure what those are for a and B so maybe you guys can help me out with that so one off and zero uh, this guy right here is to turn on is that a sawtooth activates a sawtooth and then on this side over here we can go from a sine wave to a sawtooth I'm not really sure why those are there and over here you can see we can adjust the frequency and I've got some preset timing I guess is this for calibrating your oscilloscope probes these two right here. It looks like it's gonna be a square wave and it's set at a particular timing. And then I've got these buttons right here which activate it probably. You connect your probe, you push the button and it sets at 1.5 and you check it real quick. You can select your 20 millisecond, you activate it real quick because these are momentary buttons. And then this one right here is your uh, frequency adjustment knob which the knob's missing but that's okay. So. You can see it's missing some of the ports, which is okay because I would rather have this uh, set up for banana plugs anyway. So maybe I will take these studs off and I'm going to refurbish this guy for sure. So I'm thinking about taking these ones off, making all of these female banana plugs. I'm going to check the voltage, make sure that the adjustable voltage is set. And we can also check the amplitude. Now the amplitude meter goes up to 10. I don't... I assume that this is go for there. I don't know how many amps it actually puts out. We're gonna check that. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. I just took all the screws off. I haven't really played around in here. Now, I, I haven't and I will not plug this guy in yet because I heard some stuff shaking around on the interior. And you can see that those are retaining rings for probably these studs. You can see some of the studs are a little loose. So I see one there, there's another one down here. But what'll probably amaze you guys the most is take a look at this. The board isn't mounted on standoffs like you would normally see. It is, it's not even glued. It's just, the board is just sitting on a piece of foam. It's, that's it. It's, it's just Lucy Goose sitting in there. So some of the good things are uh, the capacitors are there. They are really loose. I'll have to check those. Make sure they're not uh, open solder joints down there. But they're not bulbous, so I assume that some of those caps are still good. You can see some of the ICs that are in there. The design makes me think that it's 80s to early 90s. It really does. And take a look at some of these resistors that are in there. It looks clearly like it's 30 or so years old. Let's see, 22, 14, 76. I don't know, is it possible that that's a 1976? 
I don't know, guys. Let's take a look at the front panel. So you can see these are the retaining rings. So that guy right there is obviously supposed to be on that one. And I'll have to put all that back before I even think about plugging it in. Because uh, that will definitely blow some stuff up. It's almost like it's a homemade unit. Maybe it is. Is this like one of those uh, kits that you put together yourself? Because that would make more sense on why this PCB here is not on standoffs. It doesn't really look factory. Take a look at that AC mains that comes in. Goes right to the fuse. But then take a look at some of these wires that are coming to the back. What are the ports on the back? And it says, oh, no way. It says component video, video, and audio. Does this thing have a, a video, like a screen, an interactive screen, like a GUI, a graphical user interface? Why does this have video out? And take a look at the video out. It's these wires. So the wires come up here. I don't know. Why would it have that? Is this like pre-oscilloscope? Like you can see the waveform on a TV? I don't see like a, an RF modulator or anything in there so that, you know, you'd have your TV on channel 3 or channel 4. I really don't know. Why would they have component video? Composite video, video, audio. Why would it have that? Anyway, guys. Everything looks like it's in really good condition. Other than a few uh, fasteners that came loose. Obviously, I'm going to get rid of some of this. I'm going to shrink tube some of these connections. Because you guys know that I really hate electrical tape. There's That connector's off down there. I'll check that. And uh, also check the underside of this PCB to make sure that none of these guys, especially this one, look at that. There's no way that that's still connected. So I might have to touch that up. Yeah, I'm barely, barely, barely touching that. So that guy's definitely a little boogered up. I'll probably touch these up, maybe remove them from the circuit and check them, then pop them back in. Some of those uh, electrolytic capacitors are kind of concerning me. But what a cool piece of tech. So I'm going to go ahead and refurb this guy, do the best I can, maybe convert these over to female banana ports. It almost looks like they're a 4 mil port right there. Almost looks like it. I'll have to measure it. But uh, what a cool find. The Tech Trainer 2. Pretty impressive. I'll power it up after I check it out and I'll do a video on it then.